Okay, y'all, if you have an appointment in Miami with plastic surgeon Dr. John Sampson, cancel it because he could no longer call himself a certified plastic surgeon because he had a patient that passed away when he did a BBL. And he can do plastic surgery, but he can no longer do BBLs. He injected fat into the muscle, which they say you should never do. If you all don't know, the BBL is known as the Dr. most John dangerous plastic surgery you can have. Dr. Brazilian butt lifts or BBLs and has never had a complication until last summer when one of his patients died following the procedure. There's evidence that fatigue plays a role. And I think that that's something that he should have thought about to start an elective surgery. That's the most dangerous cosmetic surgery in the United States at 8.30 at night after having operated all day. According to the administrative complaint, that's the time Dr. Sampson began operating the patient who died of a pulmonary embolism. She was his seventh patient of the day. Doctor, if, if you could just tell me, were you pressured to do that many surgeries in one day? Dr. Sampson didn't answer that or want to talk about his decision to accept an agreement that would permanently restrict him from performing BBLs or serving as a designated physician at office surgery centers. The decision comes a day after the Board of Medicine referenced Dr. Sampson's case when discussing the possibility of limiting the number of BBLs a surgeon can do to five a day to avoid fatigue. The board is also debating whether to approve a permanent rule requiring surgeons use ultrasound technology when injecting fat during BBLs. I do think that it uh, makes the procedure even you know safer in the sense that it turns a blind procedure or one where you can see uh, and you know that you're injecting the fat into that safe space. Experts say that safe space is between the skin and the muscle citing evidence that every BBL death they have reviewed has happened when surgeons inject fat into the gluteal muscle causing a pulmonary embolism. Because of that in 2019 the board put a rule in place saying surgeons couldn't inject fat into the muscle and the state says when Samson did and his patient died he fell below the standard of care. We already have rules in place that say we need to inject in the subcutaneous space. Uh, obviously, we've not done a very good job of following the rule. Maybe not intentionally, but the bottom line is that women are still dying from this procedure. And that is why the board is expected to approve a rule requiring surgeons use ultrasound technology during BBLs. That's going to happen before September. As for Dr. Sampson, although he can't do BBLs, he is allowed to do other surgeries, but will no longer be able to call himself a board-certified plastic surgeon because that was stripped away from him when he accepted this permanent restriction. In Fort Lauderdale, Miriam Masihi, NBC7.